Insulin detamer is a long-acting form of insulin used for glycemic control in type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus. In this video, let's find found. What is insulin detamer? What is insulin detamer used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking insulin detamer? How does insulin detamer work? How to use insulin detamer? What is insulin detamer? Insulin detamer, sold under the brand name Levamir, among others, is a long-acting modified form of medical insulin used to treat both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It is used by injection under the skin. It is effective for up to 24 hours. Insulin detamer was approved for medical use in the European Union in June 2004 and in the United States in June 2005. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. In 2020, it was the 124th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 5 million prescriptions. What is insulin detamer used for? Insulin detamer is indicated to improve glycemic control in adults and children with diabetes mellitus. Contraindication Do not use it during an episode of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar or diabetic ketoacidosis, call your doctor for treatment. To make sure insulin detamer is safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had low levels of potassium in your blood, hypokalemia, or liver or kidney disease. Side effects Common side effects include low blood sugar, allergic reactions, pain at the site of injection, and weight gain. Pharmacodynamic Insulin is a natural hormone produced by beta cells of the pancreas. In non-diabetic individuals, the pancreas produces a continuous supply of low levels of basal insulin along with spikes of insulin following meals. Increased insulin secretion following meals is responsible for the metabolic changes that occur as the body transitions from a post-absorptive to absorptive state. Insulin promotes cellular uptake of glucose, particularly in muscle and adipose tissues, promotes energy storage by a glycogenesis, opposes catabolism of energy stores, increases DNA replication and protosynthesis by stimulating amino acid uptake by the liver, muscle, and adipose tissue, and modifies the activity of numerous enzymes involved in glycogen synthesis and glycolysis. Insulin also promotes growth and is required for the actions of growth hormone, e.g. protein synthesis, cell division, DNA synthesis. Insulin detamer is a long-acting insulin analog with a flat and predictable action profile. It is used to mimic the basal levels of insulin in diabetic individuals. The onset of action of insulin detamer is 1 to 2 hours and its duration of action is up to 24 hours. Interestingly, as a lower affinity, 30%, for the insulin receptor than human insulin. Mechanism of action. Insulin detamer binds to the insulin receptor, IR, a heterotetrameric protein consisting of two extracellular alpha units and two transmembrane beta units. The binding of insulin to the alpha subunit of IR stimulates the tyrosine kinase activity intrinsic to the beta sub of the receptor. The bound receptor autophosphorylates and phosphorylates numerous intracellular substrates such as insulin receptor substrates, IRS, proteins, CBL, APS, SHC, and GAB1. Activation of these proteins leads to the activation of downstream signaling molecules including PI kinase and ACT. ACT regulates the activity of glucose transporter 4, GLUT4, and protein kinase C, PKC both of which play critical roles in metabolism and catabolism. Insulin detamer's long duration of action appears to be a result of slow systemic absorption from the injection site delayed distribution to target tissues. The meristic acid side chain on insulin detamer increases self-association and gives it a high binding affinity to serum albumin. These features slow its distribution into target tissues and prolong its duration of action. Half-life after subcutaneous administration in patients with type 1 diabetes, insulin detamer has a terminal half-life of 5 to 7 hours, depending on dose. Dose. Type 1 or 2 diabetes mellitus. Once daily dosage, administer SC with evening meal or at bedtime. 
twice daily dosage, administer SC with morning meal and either with evening meal, at bedtime, or 12 hours after the morning dose. Initial dose. Type 1 diabetes. Approximately one-third of total daily insulin requirements SC, use rapid-acting or short-acting, pre-meal insulin to satisfy remainder of daily insulin requirements. Usual daily maintenance range is 0.5 to 1 unit slash kg slash day in divided dose. Non-obese may require 0.4 to 0.6 unit slash kg slash day. Obese may require 0.6 to 1.2 units slash kg slash day. Type 2 diabetes inadequately controlled on oral medication, 10 units slash day SC, or 0.0.2 units slash kg slash day in evening or divided Q12HR. Type 2 diabetes inadequately controlled on GLP-1 receptor agonist, 10 units slash day SC, given once daily in evening. Subsequently adjust dose based on blood glucose measurement. Safety advice. Regular insulin, U100 and U500, insulin aspart, insulin lease pro, U100 and U200, NPH, and insulin detamir all carry a pregnancy category B. For these insulins, the FDA has received sufficient human data allowing these to be considered low risk in pregnancy. That's all the information about insulin detamir we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.